Hey everybody, what's up? Don Carr here, and today we're looking at the Simplifier Mark II from DSM Humboldt, and I am here with Daniel. Daniel. How are you, Don? Good, man. Thanks for being here. Yeah, it's a pleasure to, uh, to be here in Indiana with you guys. Yeah, nice, man. Well, this is super exciting, seriously. Yeah. I mean, we were just talking earlier. I, I, it, the form factor is just incredible for how much you get into such a small space and how good it sounds and how functional it is. Anyway, I don't want to jump yeah. too far ahead, but yeah. yeah, this is great. So this is the update. This is the Mark II. Yeah, the Mark II, we, we took like uh, eight months working on it. Yes, uh, wow. with the success we are having with the uh, simplifier, the mm -hmm. classic one, right. we wanted to just take a couple of notches up, uh, step up, and we basically redesigned the whole uh, chain of tone. Um, each part has been revised, and we have a um, a very, very, very nice uh, amp replicator or simulator uh, that we are um, really proud of. So yeah. proud that we travel from Chile to here to show it, you know. <laughs> there you go. To there bring you, go. you the news. Yeah, well, yeah. and it really is. It sounds great just sitting here messing around, playing it. I mean, it. it's kind of, the, you know, just a, uh, we were talking about this too. It's just sort of taking that winning formula that already worked and then just refining it, tweaking it, going the next step. And uh, I'm anxious to hear about some of the uh, upgrades you guys did. Yeah, uh, well, the simplifier is a, uh, is, it's the perfect solution for gigging guitars or, sure. or, or recording guitarists or, or players that want to just chill out in the room with the headphones. You know, we have this, we, we're keeping the, the same mainframe, the, mm -hmm. the frame of uh, the stereo effects loops and the outputs, the versatility, the quality of the uh, direct outs, the XLRs, um, all the versatility in terms of connections mm -hmm. and the possibilities you can yeah. make in stereo, wet, dry, wet. We decided to make, just let's make a real amp now. Yeah. Let's make it with gain, let's make it with the power amp saturation and compression and the behavior that you like of a loud amp. Right. Like moving air. Yeah. And, and we added a reverb that it's that was uh, all everyone was asking for that so yeah sure we have to sure. serve our customers that <laughs> exactly. we love them so much so um and also we improved a lot the cabinet simulation that was already acclaimed on the simplifier right. Right. but we were um, we added much more stages on the filter and we based on the ir impulse response mm -hmm. but it's still analog yeah, and that's the that's the other thing that's amazing about all this is the entire signal flow is analog. The only thing the only thing that's digital is obviously the reverb. But you said that's on a side chain. Right? It's on a side yeah. chain, so you don't have any converter inside, no digital wow. noise, low co power consumption still. Yeah. So uh, it's very easy to use. Uh, we improved the layout and all the labels, so it's very uh, much more intuitive. Yeah. For except little details that yeah. we worked on, for example, uh, on the classic gear, if you want one type of amplifier, the switches were not in, in, in order, you know, like one was up, the other one was down, and the oh, other one's on the left. Yeah. Now right. it's much more intuitive. If you want a Fender sound, it's all in the middle, all switches in the middle. If you want a Marshall, everything down. On app is everything a box. Huh. Interesting. Wow, that's re that's really smart. Yeah, because you know that's one of the things that's tough about making something this small with this much stuff on it is you, it's got to be logical. It's got to be laid out where you can cleanly and clearly yeah. see what's going on. So Daniel, let's give this thing a listen, man. We've been talking about it like crazy. It's yeah. about time to hear it. <laughs> um, so I let's. I, I like the fact that it's that it's you know Fender Vox Marshall. So let's just start with the basic Fender sound. Yeah. Now it's set like as a standard basement mm -hmm. like is. As you said, fender clean. Yeah. 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 Let's okay. Get it all right. All right. So yeah, and, and yeah. EQ controls are pretty much straight up. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. This is all preamp gain. Oh, okay. So for right, now. yeah. So far, now, right. So far, yeah. yeah, right. Because we're not lighting up the power section yet. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. 
let's try with the power amp gain now. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Did you, did you feel that? I did. It's completely <laughs> different. It really is. And you kind of, it's interesting. It's less saturated, obviously. Yeah. Right? And it's got, but it's still got the same kind of sustain to it. Exactly. You know? It compresses it. It, that is, yeah. it. it doesn't add higher harmonics. It just compresses the signal. Right. Unless right. you go both ways. Uh, right. Which is kind of where we're headed now, right? Yeah. Okay. We're heading right. right there. Well, let's so going to, yeah. you, you have to turn down yeah. the master. Right. And let's push it. Cleans up nicely. Isn't Man, it? it does, doesn't it? That's great. Yeah, that, that was, is great. That is the power amp that clips yeah. suddenly, so right. so you can turn the guitar a little, pull yeah. it back, and it will clean up. And and you don't really lose any like output level, you know, perceived output level. You know, no. it's just it's just more no. compression, it, it, and more it, saturation. It, it is compressed, so yeah. will be yeah. on the same level. And wow. also, with the way that the power amp saturates. Mm -hmm. uh, there's when you turn down the the, the, the guitar. Mm -hmm. There's also a little little change on the tone. It's like a really natural yeah. cleaning up. Yeah, right. It, it, it's not that your guitar turns out to be very weak. Yeah, or right. too or muffled. Right. It just maintains the the response. Yeah, you just you lose all that, you know, just the saturation, the compression, yeah. and the mid range, and stuff, and the low. That doesn't end. happen on the preamp. When with too much gain in the preamp, as you turn it back, it usually comes up a uh, little weak. Yeah. On the bottom. Yeah. End. Yeah. Interesting. Really interesting. And again, we haven't even like touched the tone controls. Yet. No, we haven't. That, that's <laughs> it. I, I just added a little more resonance. Yeah. But uh, do you want to try the Marshall tones? Sure. Let's yeah. do. Let's go for it. Yeah, uh, Marshall tones. We go for the Marshall Power Amp, Marshall Preamp, 4x12, and let's go in for the green. Okay. Green backs. Cool. Okay, that, that's what I like for a Marshall. Okay. A little more presence. Yeah. Ah, let's okay. try that. Oh, there you go. All right. So you've got, you've got your settings. You know. Yeah. Well, of that's, course you know. <laughs> this is a starting point. <laughs> okay, good. Good. Let's see where okay. we're at here. I'm at humbucker, rear humbucker. Yeah, humbucker. So. <laughs> Just like a plexi, you know. It's, Man, it's that feels like great. Creamy and yeah, rounded. Yeah, it really does. And my nice sparkle on the top end. A little sparkle yeah. that that's added also for, by the speakers. Yeah. You know, um, let let's try for example the preamp gain okay. on this one. Sure. <laughs> How the texture change it? Yeah, 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 really radical on the top end. You can yeah, really hear it on the top end. Wow, it nice. shows more when you have high gain on sure, clean tones. Sure. It's a little bit uh, yeah. uh, milder. The, yeah, the a little more subtle. The, when you're think. using yeah. your distortion, you, you yeah. want to get those heights in the right spot. <laughs> you sure do. Yeah, <laughs> let's try it with the yeah. box tone. Okay. Oh, or you want to crank the power amp? Yeah, let's the hear Marshall. the power amp. Yeah, turn the turn the preamp down a little bit. Let's yeah. turn the power amp. Let's hear what, let's hear let's the response. Let's try the volume habits. Okay. Nice. And and again with the power amp thing, you get the response. Yeah, response. You know, you know the touch. So I, was, I was trying to play a little bit of dynamics. You know, turn yeah. the guitar down a little bit. Yeah. Nice. Then yeah, it cleaned up really well. Yeah. And it has that that low end that Marshall has. Yeah, it has know, the that, girth. Yeah, the that four twelve kind of you know. Yeah. Chest thump. And uh, the Marshall the uh, Vox AC thirty tones. 
that always want to play with the power up. Up. Let's go with a cleanish. Yeah, okay. Preamp tone. One thing to mention, a, a little de detail, is that when you select the Vox mm -hmm. uh, option, mm -hmm. the mids are out of the circuit. Oh, right, right, because there's no mid control on them. There's no mid control, exactly. so it's just like that. And the presence controls become the high cut. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. So, so you can... Beautiful. Yeah, talk. so you can do that, right? Do so the So you can thing. do the yeah. box thing that, that it's, it's really tight, low end, until it breaks up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Vox cleans are so nice, you know, they yeah. have that chime and yeah, they really crystal. Do, man. Yeah. It is, it's, and it's a funny little, I don't even know what it is, some kind of odd dip in the mid-range that just, that just clears, it's so clear sounding, you know, I like that, really do. Yeah. Mm, nice job, man. It, and, and that dip in, in the middle is, is, is really where how, how this thing uh, works, the, the Vox, because uh, uh, when you're not saturating the power mm -hmm. amp, you have a huge peak in the low end and the high mm -hmm. end. That, that, that's your um, uh, chime. Yeah. Right. But when you're right. kicking, that low and high uh, peaks goes down. Right. Because they, they, the power amp, the yeah. power tubes cannot amplify anymore, so it becomes mid rangey. Yeah. So it's it's a, like a smiley face right. or a sad face. Right. It's the, an inverted. The, yeah. You just you just you're yeah. just doing that with the with the yeah. EQ curve. Yeah. And and we replicate yeah. that. Yeah. This, uh, Very well. You do yeah. it very well, actually. It sounds great, man. It feels great, too. That's the other thing is that, um, you know, from the player perspective, just the response. You know, yeah. it just feels wonderful. How's it feel in the fingers? It's, yeah. yeah. It's the first thing that, stand, that stands out, uh, I think, is the, the touch sensitive mm -hmm. of it is really well um, achieved. Yeah, it's, yeah. Well, because player, actually, you know, it's, uh, it's the, has, has the same structure as, as a tube amp, so... It responds to saying it's just that big. <laughs> yeah, it's just our way to, yeah. to reimagine how uh, how it works. So, yeah. so uh, to simplify it, right? Then now you can select the the type of speaker. Not only the the, the cabinet. Yeah. On the previous yeah. one, we have the mic position that mm -hmm. it was. It's a little finicky to, to work with. You have to be really careful not to go too far with it. Right, right. So for this one, we, we decided to replace that with the speaker color because, uh, you know, the, we have the black, the green, and the blue. Oh, okay. Okay, the black go. one, sure. the, the Fender one for yeah. those uh, black back, right. the eminence, old eminence on mm -hmm. Fenders that are uh, pretty mellow. Yeah. And uh, the green, it's an Alnico, well, sorry, the blue ones, I say Alnico blue. Right. For especially, ni really nice for the box. Exactly. It, it complements that mid rangey mm -hmm. uh, texture. And, and you want the aggressiveness of the green decks, you know, for your martial tones. But the nice thing is you can combine it. Right. Yeah, you can mix and match however you mix want to. Mix and do match, that. you know. Yeah. I like the Vox with the black uh, eminent speakers or, uh, or whatever you like. You can make your own custom. Amplify it. Okay, Daniel. So this is like one of your favorite combinations. What do we got going here? Well, this is well my personal favorite setting for it is it's a Fender preamp. It's a basement preamp mm -hmm. with a Marshall okay. power amp. Okay. So it has a little mid, a uh, little low mid hump over there. Okay. But with a four uh, twelve. With some something between the blue alnicos and the greenbacks, so it's not too screechy, right. uh, but it has the right amount of edginess. Yeah, 
Nice, nice. So yeah, so a four twelve, and and we're so we're and we're driving the power section pretty we're hard. We're pretty loud, but yeah. just before the amp starts breaking, like yeah, completely saturated. Fire. Yeah, <laughs> just right. before that point. Yeah, we're gonna start on the bridge. That was great. <laughs> Thanks. That's yeah. uh yeah, that's killer, man. That's, that's a great killer, setting. Man. Well, and the fact and again, a fact that the fact that this is all analog. You know? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, it, it was I, I'm the engineer, so so you know. So uh, it yeah. was a lot of work and studying the interactions, a lot of learning about um, how how the power amp interacts with the speaker, you know. So and, uh, many, and, many 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 systems try to emulate just the 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 power amp. But the thing is, the speaker works with the power amp, and and yeah, and, and yeah. none of it is static. You know, it's that's not the static. thing. It's all reactive to what you're putting into it and yeah. where you've got everything set. And yeah, you it's you a lot, you man. you will notice when you change the power amp, it will not only change the dynamics, mm -hmm. but it will change the tone dynamically. You know, the more you push it, you have mm -hmm. more mids, right. and and the low end and highs blooms back. Yeah. It's like it's a dance of yeah. frequencies. Let's check out the reverb. Let's start with it all the way off and just kind of bring it in. Let's hear the I I, I just love the the depth that it adds. So this is a real good experiment for hearing that. Yeah, I'm going Charlie. It's a very deep uh, reverb. Yeah, it really wet. is. We can yeah, get really it is. Wet. And, and man, when you crank it up, you really hear the modulation. It's yeah, it's man. floating nice. in space. It's, nice. uh, but it's not too long, so it's not right. too intrusive in, yeah. in, in yeah. what you're playing. Right. So we had to play with the, with the times and uh, the modulation rate. So, yeah. so it's not all over the place, but <laughs> yeah. it adds to the music and it's not in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah and the dry through really helps. You know, yeah, the fact of course. that it's on the side chain. Of course. Yeah, it's great. Also, you've got there's a stereo effects loop. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as yeah. all our simplifier uh, line, mm -hmm. we have a stereo effect loop, so you can go left and right. It's a dual cap sim. They're completely independent. It, each channel yeah. will go to the river signal, its own. So it's uh, yeah. And keeping all things separated, so you, you can have I don't know four by twelve on one side and a combo on the other side with different speakers, and that yeah. will widen even more the, the, the stereo, stereo spe spectrum exactly yeah. exactly well and you know like in of course in in this situation you don't have like impedance matching issues and no you, know, you, for, stuff. you forget you about all that yeah, and uh, polarity and ear you pain know, yeah you, you don't know. have any of that <laughs> none of that yeah. yeah that's great um and just kind of quickly looking at it here so we've uh there's also there's the there's a headphone out right and there's a level for the headphone that's completely separate is yeah, that, is that yeah. you, you okay. have your own level yeah, for, for the cool. headphones and yeah. the auxiliary input, so you can jam along with your headphones. Right. Or you can use it to get the mix from the sound guy, so you can monitor yourself getting the, the band mix. Yeah, yeah. And, right. and you control your own levels from... from so it's like a, a more me, basically. Yeah, more me. Yeah, you can like do your more, more me bus. without asking wow. the sound guy. You know? Wow. Yeah, you got your own monitor mix there. It's yeah, like, the, yeah. That's that's really good, except for this. I need more me. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. That's very cool. That's why we play guitar, you know. <laughs> me. 
Because <laughs> we love the way it sounds, right? Yeah, we yeah. Like the way we sound. That, you know? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Okay, so XLR outs and quarter-inch outs as well, right? Yeah, the quarter-inch are replicating whatever is coming through, mm -hmm. through the um, uh, XLRs, but you have the option to bypass the whole thing, so it goes straight through if you want to use your own amp uh, on the way, mm -hmm. or you want to record your um, dry signal into the door oh, okay. without... And and the other uh, and the other input lets you bypass the capsim, so you can go oh. in. You can use this preamp and power amp simulation mm -hmm. and input into a power amp. That's so uh, that, it, that, that that's one of the things that have made the simplifier line so successful. Daniel, thank you so much, man. Thank you for having us here. Oh my Don. gosh, thank you. This is really great. Congratulations on the Simplifier Mark II. Mark II. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks everybody for watching and if you have any questions about this or any other DSM Humboldt product, make sure to contact your Sweetwater sales engineer or check out Sweetwater.com. Thanks.